Hi, welcome to the demo of Glaces RPA Genie. RPA Genie consists of three main modules RPA Genie Studio, RPA Genie Agent, and RPA Genie Bot Monitoring Tool. In this demo, we are going to focus only on the RPA Genie Studio, which is the development platform for creating any automation with RPA Genie. Once you open the RPA Genie Studio, you will come to this home screen. From here, you can create new project and open an existing project. You can also find links to help and support and also for the tools that are available with the RPG. For creating an automation, there are two options. One, the blank project, and the second one, the background process. Background process is used to create any automation that does not require user interaction and can run on background. For this demo, we are going to create a blank project. So let us click on this new blank project and a new project pop-up will appear where you can give a project name and a project description. Let us give some name for this project and description and click on create. Once you click on the create, you will be navigated to the designer page. In this page, there are different panes. On the left, you can see the activities pane where it lists all the activities that are available for the automation. On the top left side, you, you, you have some basic options like save, cut, copy, and paste. You also have option to set the project settings to delete the projects or uh, to uh, update any studio settings. On the top right, you can see the link for the UI Explorer to select a browser or to run an application or to close an application. On your right is the Project Explorer where you can see all the process and its sequence for the project. The RPA Genie project can have multiple process and each of them can have multiple sequence. You can set any sequence of process as a startup so that will be executed when the bot runs the process. The center pane is the designer pane where you can drag and drop any activity to perform the automation. Below you can also see variables and arguments pane where you can add the variables or arguments. The arguments are the parameters for the process that can be passed when it is being called from another process. Variables are the values that can be reused within the sequence. Now let us start to create an automation. We will now open the browser and navigate to amazon.com. For this, search for the open browser activity and drag and drop it to the designer. Once you have selected the activity from the designer, you can see the properties getting populated in the right pane. There are some common properties. Apart from that, we can also see the input properties and a URL in that section. So in this URL, I can give the amazon.com website to which I need the browser to navigate once the bot is running. I'm also going to select the browser as Chrome. Now let us run the automation. You can see the browser opens and it is navigated to amazon.com. Now let, let us be uh, more interactive and search for the product from the amazon.com website. For this, we will need to first input the product name in the search text box. And then we'll have to click on the search to search for that product. So for inputting a value onto the text box, we have the activity called send keys. So I can drag and drop the send key activity to my designer pane. So once I drag and drop the send key activities, I can see an indicate on screen link, which will help me to uh, select the control to which I need to pass the value. So once I click on the indicate on screen, it will show me all the process that are available, which I can attach to. So I'm going to select the amazon.com website 
and then click on the select window. So once I select the process, I can hover on all the elements that are available and I can see it being highlighted. So once it is highlighted, I perform a click to select that particular element. Once I select the element, the edit element selector screen appears uh, from uh, where I can modify my selector. In most of the cases, I will not need to modify any of the selectors. So I'm just going to click on OK. So you can see I have selected that particular control. Now I need to pass the value to this particular text box. For this, go to the properties pane and you can find the keys. So inside the keys, I'm going to type in iPhone. Now our next activity should be to search for this particular product. To search for this product, there are two ways using which I can do. So the first one is to either click on the search button or the second approach is to use the hotkeys. So I'm going to use the hotkeys method. So just drag and drop the hotkeys onto the designer page. And same way as we have done for the send keys, I can see the indicator on screen. So I'm going to select the same element as I have done to which I need to perform the hotkeys. So once I select the control, I click on OK and then I navigate to my designer. So the next step is to uh, set the hotkeys that I, I need to pass to this particular control. In our case, we are just going to perform an enter key press onto this particular element. So in the properties pane, you can see a key modifier. So I just have to click on the edit option here and then press any key that I want to perform. So I'm just going to click on enter from my keyboard. So once I do that, the enter key is registered with this particular activity. So what will happen is it will click on enter after I type in iPhone 11. Now let us run the automation. So now we have seen the browser navigating to amazon.com and then passing a value to the search and then searching it using the hotkeys. So what we have covered is a basic demo on how to automate a web application. You can find more details on all the activities supported from the help link of the RPG. Thanks for watching.